One of the things I learned, you know, early on from my own mother was that those kinds of conversations should happen as early and often as possible. You want to be your kid's trusted adult. I've learned that the easy way, I should say, because I had a really great trusted adult. And, you know, great sex education, if you want to lower the abortion rate, that's the number one way to do it. You got to actually talk about sex. You got to give correct information. You can't let women and girls sit around going like, I don't even know what happened down there. Like, you know, that's, a, that's not the way to do it. We want to empower women to understand what's going on with their bodies and, and what, set, how to get pregnant. Yeah. And not, and how to protect themselves. So, um, and, and also that sex is fun. So fun. <laughs> so fun. Isn't it? 99% of the sex I've had was not to make babies. <laughs> Typically the ratio. Yeah. So are you cool, mom? You you're not embarrassed. No, I really try. No, I'm not. I I, I yes, I'm cool, and no, I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I bet my kids think that that is embarrassing. But no, I'm I am I'm very open about it. Yeah, with my kids. My, my the conversation went. My kids knew very early on. You know, mommy and daddy, egg, sperm, to baba, and then when around eight years old in the car, of course, because these conversations typically happen in the car. And by the way, they suggest so that they happen in the car. You don't want to look directly in your child's eye when you're like, the penis goes in the <laughs> vagina. <laughs> So you want to be looking forward out a windshield or sitting at the end of the bed, right? This is um, good advice. Yeah, it is. I'm giving you good advice.